There's the book. I know it. The secret is there. Give it to me. Just a storm. Is it, is it just a storm? What else could it be? Give it to me. Laura, look! What? wanted to do. Darling, something troubling you? No. Yes, and I know what it is. You've been dreaming about this moment for such a long time. But you're afraid you're still dreaming. You're afraid you're going to wake up and I'll be gone. But that's not true, Nora. Not this time. This time I'm really here, darling, ready to take you away. Darling, did you hear what I said? Yes. What's wrong? I don't want to go with you. I don't want to leave Collinwood, not until I'm grown up. But you said you wanted to go away with me. No. No, I never said that. Yes, you did. I said I wanted to be with you, here at Collinwood. But I can't stay at Collinwood, darling. And I can't leave. Why can't you leave? Who told you that? No one. Who spoke to you, Nora? Who came here to see you? Darling, I want you to tell me exactly what happened this evening. I played outside for a little while. And I got my shoes wet. And Miss Trask told me I was a silly child. And she put me to bed. And after you went to bed, did you have any kind of a special dream? Yes, Mommy. A dream in which someone was trying to tell you something bad about me? Oh, no. No, it took place a long time ago. When you were very beautiful and very gentle. The way you were when I wasn't afraid of you. Afraid of me? Nora! Yes. But darling, if you loved me before, how could you be afraid of me now? I'm the same. I look the same, I sound the same. Darling, just because I was away for a little while, you're different now. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? I'll relieve you of these and then we'll talk. My name is Angelique. Perhaps you've heard of me. How did you get in here? Derek! Derek! Don't bother, he won't answer you. What have you done to him? Nothing, he's just gone. And don't harbor any ideas. He'll tell anyone what he saw in the cellar, because he won't. Who are you? <laughs> well, I'm flattered by your interest, love. Perhaps we can become good friends. I must confess, I've always been rather interested in you. Laura Stockbridge Collins. One of the legendary beauties of the Collins family. There was a picture of you in Jeremiah's room. I remember you, looking arrogant and rather woodsy in your riding habit. You're still very lovely, my dear. But perhaps time is beginning to press in on you a little. Oh, no. I shall have enough time to do what I came here to do. To get your children. That doesn't concern you, does it? Barnabas Collins concerns me very much. Well, in that case, if you persuade him to leave me alone, I shall leave him alone. Are you making a bargain with me? <laughs> That's very amusing. I almost destroyed him tonight. I would have succeeded if you hadn't come in. You little fool. Don't you know I will always come in whenever Barnabas needs me? Unless, of course, you plan to destroy me too. Which would be even more foolish. You were the one who was being foolish. What do you mean by that? Perhaps I can't destroy you, but he can hurt you. Barnabas, 
The Collins house has always held unhappy women. And Barnabas is a Collins. Rather different from the others, I think. Nevertheless, I will remain devoted to him, no matter what you try to tell me. Then I was right. <laughs> you are a fool. Perhaps you can force him to love you, do what you say by spells and potions, whatever, but... If he really had a choice, do you think Barnabas would choose you? No. No more than Dirk would choose you. Oh, I'm not interested in Dirk. I care only about my children. But you do care about Barnabas, don't you? How does it make you feel to know that you are, are succeeding as a, as a... Whatever you are. But failing as a woman. Let me finish what I started to do. Perhaps we would both be much better off without him. I am going to destroy you. You will never leave this house. I must warn you, I am not without powers. And it's good to see that you are not without fear. Till we meet again, my dear Angelique. Collins, what are you doing here? Mrs. Collins! Mrs. Collins! She won't answer you, Magda. What was she doing here? Oh, are you concerned? Well, it's a little late in the morning for that. Do you know where I found her? At Barnabas's coffin with a stake and a hammer. She was going to destroy him. Well, I prevented her from doing that. But I couldn't prevent her from knowing. She will destroy him. Chances there. We will all be as dead as my, my poor sister whose grave I went to this morning. When you should have been with him. I made the mistake. I will pay when, when they come after him. They will not come after him. Oh, you think you can save him? I must. She will not get very far. If you do as I tell you. What do you want me to do? Go to Collinwood and bring Quentin here to me. Quentin? Yes, that's what I said. Why do you hesitate? If you want Quentin, get him yourself. Yes, I want Quentin. And I want him now. Well, he's not worth five seconds of my time. Yes, he is. Since Barnabas is in danger, everyone will do exactly what I tell them to do, including you. And right now, I'm telling you to go to Collinwood and get Quentin. Go, Magda, now. Here. You will get me the bullets. Mm, they are the answer to many things, my lady. Magda did well. Now we can begin the ceremony. Have you brought the Book of the Dead? Here it is. No, I don't want it. You will perform the ceremony. Me? What's the matter, Quinn? Are you suddenly feeling sentimental about the lady you betrayed? No, I wasn't thinking of Laura. It's the ceremony I don't like. It comes too close to the angry ancient gods for comfort. I assure you, Quinn, the only one who will feel any discomfort will be Laura herself. Isn't that true, my dear? And now, I will place you on your funeral pyre. A bed of flames for you to sleep in. 
for all eternity. Prince of light and radiance, creator of things which came into being when the earth took form in the beginning, master of the bounds of eternity, shining one and dweller in light, accept this sacrifice to thee. the great one, fire, son of fire, accept this sacrifice, homage to thee, Lord of creation, whose abode is hidden, homage thou flame which comes forth from the horizon and passes over the sky, and homage to thee, who puts an end to the hours of the night. Warmth and power. Hear me. Protect me. And crush my enemy. Oh, Ra. Call to thee thy servant, Laura. Take her to thy breasts. Look. She's fighting us. Ra needs her here still. It's gone out again. It won't light. You must call on Seth. No, no. You must. No, it's not good to disturb the god of death. Why are you frightened, Quentin? You have much more to fear from Laura if she lives. She'll know your part in this. In the depths of the underworld, O oh, Set, God of air, who first brought death to mortals, enemy of Osiris, show your green face to her whose raw servant. Rekindle the fire. Show raw your powers are greater than his. Let her burn for your glory. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank the O set. Thank the O set. Let not the innocence of Ra nor the desire of Osiris stop you or defeat you. Let not the innocence of Ra nor the desires of Osiris stop you or defeat you. Let no one push you back into the fireless darkness. Let no one push you back into the fireless darkness. To the black darkness which is your home. To the black darkness which is your home. No! You're hurting her! I won't let you! I won't! The fire! For you, Julie. One that I dislike having to tell you, but I'm afraid I must. That will be interesting. If you don't mind, Quentin, I'd like to tell Judith a lot. I mind, of course. <laughs> you know my insatiable curiosity. Well, perhaps she'll tell you. She'll certainly have to do something about it. Judith, I must warn you. It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Shall we go inside? 
It's about what's happening at the old house. <laughs> What is happening at the old house? Has it to do with David? Jameson? Why he went there? It's about Barnabas Collins. Cousin Barnabas. <laughs> cousin. Oh, you see, that's so funny. He is our cousin. You can see that. All you have to do is look at the portrait in the hall. You look at it, Judith. Only after you hear what I have to say, I doubt very much that you ever will again. You will take it from the wall and burn it. I don't understand. That portrait. And Barnabas Collins. Uh, what is it? What's wrong? She seems to have lost her voice, Miss Collins. Call a doctor. Oh, yes. Well, surely a doctor could help you. Laura, believe me, let me walk home with you. Laura. I thought you were going to be at the other place. How did you get here? I beg your pardon? I just left you. Shall we play a game of cards? Now, wait a minute. Any game you like. No, 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 I don't understand. You can't have completed the whole game. Sit down, Quentin. <laughs> but then, <laughs> why should I understand? If I had your powers. Oh, if I did. Now, are you going to tell me why I'm here? I simply wanted you to be here with me. When it happens. When what happens? Give me the strength to crush my enemy. Give me your precious fire. Let it start in the depths of her soul. Let her feel the flames inside her. Let it happen, Great Ra. For I am lost unless you do. You know what's going on? Tell me, are we in danger? Are we? You're on. It's hot. What's happening here? What's happening? Oh, great Ra, the heat grows in her body. Thank you. The heat like coals smoldering, like red coals about to burst into flame. Let the flames come, Great Ra. Let the flames come. I frighten you, I'm sorry. It's rather late to be visiting, isn't it? Late for me, but early for you. Your night has just begun. But since you have only until dawn, I expect you have much to do. A great deal to do, actually. As I'm sure you do. You're dressed for traveling, I see. Now, that doesn't concern you. I'm afraid it does. I can call Edward. I'm afraid he's not here. But someone is. And anyone who knew your secret, I'm sure... Barnabas. You will not succeed, Lord. Your plan has already gone wrong. <laughs> You're bluffing. Oh, Barnabas. Isn't it strange that we should be standing here in this house in this year? You are Laura Stockbridge Collins. I remember you so well. I remember when Jeremiah brought me to the old house. And you were there watching me, following me around. Yes. 
Well, you were Phoenix even then. You were in love with me. It's only a little boy can be. Have you forgotten that, Barnaby? No, I've not forgotten. Then let me take my children and go. It's not our fault what we are. You know that about yourself. I would want you to stop me if I were going to do what you plan. You don't know. You're only guessing. I do know. How? Quentin? Would you trust Quentin? Angelique? Well, who then? Who could you possibly believe? Shall I show you? If you can. I said no. I had no need to kill him. I only wanted something he had. The letter. Your letter. Beautifully put. As elegantly written as I would have wished. But unfortunately, no eyes will see it but mine. You see, it is already burnt. Have you time to write another? I will tell. You do not have your protectress now. I don't think I'll need her. You can do nothing. You have no power over me. And you never will. I am not Dirk. I am aware of that. I am only telling you that you will not leave this house with Jameson. How do you expect to stop me? I'm going up there to get my son right now. Do whatever you want. And you will see how powerless you are. Just as I suspected. You can do nothing. I promised I would. We're going to go away together. Jameson, darling. Jameson! destroyed you. You created the fire, but you didn't destroy me. I saw you consumed in flames. You should never underestimate the power of an enemy. What you saw consumed in flames was an exact replica of me. Replica? I knew you'd make some attempt to destroy me. So I created a doppelganger. A double, my dear. And it was she you destroyed. A trick. A vicious trick, I despise you. I know. But your hatred won't last long. Your strength is running out, Lori. You have very little time left, and you know it. I shall get my children. You can't stop me. I don't get angry. Anger requires energy, and you have none to spare. I have enough to do what I came here to do, and enough to keep you at a distance. Oh, I won't try and stop you. But let me give you one word of friendly advice. In whatever fiery world awaits you when you leave this one, you really should use more caution in choosing your enemies. 
What are you doing, Laura? Stay where you are, Edward. You did the only thing you could for me. You lit the fire. And now, I am in control of it. I must warn you, Edward. Don't try to stop me. For if you do, we shall both go up in flames. My God. Barnabas. He warned me about the fire. Barnabas! Barnabas, where are you? Come up to Jameson's room! At once! Barnabas! It's too late to call for Barnabas. I have found the strength I need. My prayers have been answered. I shall have my children. And there's nothing you can do to stop me now. Laura. 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 Look! There's a fire in the fireplace! She's coming for us, Jameson! She's coming for us! How did that fire get started? She just disappeared in front of my eyes. Tell me what happened. It was in time. She's gone after the children. Where do they have? Where do you have them hidden? In a room at the East Wing. We'll go to them right now. I'll talk to you in a moment. We may have to depend on you to stop her. Me? What could I do? You have a way of putting your powers to excellent advantage when it suits your purposes. I ask you now to do it for me. Laura is a creature of fire, Barton. My powers may be useless again. Try, Angelique. Please try. Jameson, Nora, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. You must not be frightened. No matter what happens, you must be very brave. Oh, Mommy, Mommy, where are you? Why can't we see you? You will see me soon. We must make sure that no one tries to stop us from leaving. I want to be alone with you. I want you to go to the door, Jameson, and bolt it from the inside. Jameson! The flames are getting bigger! It's all right, Nora. She said not to be frightened. Oh, Mommy! Mommy, where are you? Please let us see you. Soon, my children, very soon. Laura Collins, wherever you are, you will hear my voice. And you will know that the power to command you is mine. For I have invoked the powers of darkness, and you cannot resist me. Your children are waiting. But when you appear to them, they will not know you. You will be a stranger to them. Oh, Jameson! How did the fire get in here? The flames are getting close and we've got to get out of here. We can't. There's no way out. Where, Mother? Where? Over here. Are you ready to come with me now? Oh, oh, Mommy, Mommy, yes, yes, please save us. I shall, my children. The moment has come for us to be together, always. I am coming to you. I am coming to you. Hear me, Laura Collins. Hear me now. You are in the presence of an enemy. Your enemy is time. All the years and centuries and eras you have lived through and known. I have summoned your enemy to confront you now. And you will appear as you really are. 
as you really are, Laura Collins. Can you see me now, my children? No, we can just hear you. I shall come closer. And when I reach you, you shall both run into my arms. Do you understand? Yes! Come with me, you must. 